As the Clone Wars raged on and General Grievous continued his rampage in the Outer Rim, he encountered a Jedi cruiser. Storming the cruiser, he cut down a Jedi Master and some Padawans, but took the younglings captive. Grievous held them prisoner throughout his conquest of the Ugnaught homeworld Gentis. After taking control of the planet, he gathered all of the citizens in the capital city into a domed building. He then spoke to Dooku of his success and plans to use Geonosian technology to make the Jedi trainees cyborgs like himself. Later, Grievous brought the younglings on a balcony overlooking the capital city, telling them they would become his new soldiers. In response, one of the youngling said she would never serve the Sith. Dangling her over the balcony, Grievous said that he held the power of life and death in a single word. The general then gave the order to blow up the dome filled with the citizens of the capital city. Afterwards, Grievous overlooked the construction of the youngling's new cybernetic suits, which painfully required organs to be removed and limbs amputated. Unfortunately for Grievous, the plan was foiled by a strike team led by three rogue Jedi. Instead of pursuing their original plan to kill Grievous, two ended up sacrificing themselves, leaving the last Jedi to rescue the younglings and return them to the temple. 